Well, for my paper, I did uh, the factors of anorexia. And originally, I just, I started with just the topic of anorexia. And eventually, I narrowed it down to the factors. And I, I didn't know anything about anorexia besides that it was an eating disorder. So I learned a lot about it and I wanted to do something that I would learn a lot about and that I would stay interested in because we started that in like September. I don't know anyone who suffers from anorexia but I know it's a terrible thing so just wanted to learn about something new. I always thought that anorexia was not, necessar not necessarily a choice, but not as, I didn't realize it was as severe as it was, and that it's actually considered as a disease. And it's something that people who have anorexia, they just can't, they can't snap out of it. And it's, it's not their choice. We start with the topic, and you have to do a lot of research on databases, and that can be very time-consuming. And once you find all of those, you have to summarize them, and that's also very time-consuming because you have to read it and then write it out. And then it's just like a puzzle, pretty much. At, like. Until the final thing, it's a bunch of pieces, and it's not really complete until it's handed in. Well, Mrs. Schmidt, she does a really good job of breaking down the steps. So when I start, when we started the project, I never would have believed that I could do it. So I learned so much about myself and that I'm so much more capable than I thought I was. And um, it's going to be really helpful in college because my brother, he's a freshman, and some of his friends at college, the longest paper they ever wrote was just two pages. Well, I definitely know that I can do much more than I thought I could, and I'll definitely take away that just, like, just because it's like such a big thing, don't look at it. Don't look at it as a big thing. Look at as it. Look at it as the small pieces, and it's not as scary. I think writing the analysis part, and because I'm, I've never written a paper like this. I've only written literature papers, so I'm not really used to the repetitiveness and. Uh, like, because for literature papers, you're always worried about, like, grammar and not using, like, not repeating and stuff and using um, pronouns and stuff like that. But Mrs. Schmidt drills into you that you, like, don't worry about using pronouns. And so it was, it was totally different. I would definitely say choose a topic that interests you because if it doesn't, you'll just be dreading the whole thing for months and I would also say do the assignments on time because if you fall one step behind then you're working on that and they already moved ahead. Well I definitely learned that I, I can do so much more than I thought I could and I'm capable of doing it on my own so that was a, that's a good thing to know. I'm really proud of my final paper because I didn't think I could do it and I really like how it turned out.